good morning, Carnival Sunshine family. <laughs> <I'm retarded. laughs> good morning from Sweet 7179. <laughs> that is our sweet number. <laughs> we are on the Carnival Sunshine. The Bahamas. We're going to three places. Yeah. So we're we've already been to the Bahamas. We went to Half Moon. Went to Half Moon. That's right. And then we are on our way to Amber Cove, Dominican Republic. Yep. Yeah. And then after that, we're swinging back through, and we're going to go to Turks and Caicos. Yeah. Which we're actually passing. We're passing them first. Yeah. It's going to be on a return trip. Yep. Then we have two sea days back. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully the wind is being blocked somewhat by the uh, the walls here. Yeah, hopefully it won't be too loud. Yeah, we'll see how my audio editing skills turn out. They are booking though to get us there. Yeah, we're doing about 17 knots. This is an eight day. And for those of us who have medical conditions, eight days is a lot. We either have too big of a bag or not big enough. Right. So this time around, we used our smaller bag, and then used an actual cooler to bring our, or bring my, um, IV bags. I mean, when you've got an IV that's that big, um, you need something a little easier to carry it in. Yeah. So when we get back, we're gonna start looking to see if we can find um, an in-between Pelican bag. Yeah, because the one we have is really big. It's humongous. It's and, almost too big. Yep. And then our other one that's a Pelican box is too small. Uh, yeah, it, it <laughs> just would be, by two a little bit. It would be perfect for like a five day cruise or something well, and like that. That's what we got it for originally. But last you, year was our first eight day and it was You go any higher an than five and, yeah. and you need something different. So we're gonna see if we can find an in-between one. Yeah. Um, and then- Even if I, we I, have to like get one that's a little bit bigger and put everything in it, you know, this way we Instead don't have, the book bag. right, this way we don't have a book bag plus Can. the Pelican case if well, we just all have it centralized into one. Well, the only downside to that is, is, you know, things that don't need to be getting cold, get cold. Yeah, I know. And then, I mean, you know, this time around they broke one of my yeah, I'm tackle still a little, boxes. I'm a little upset about that. Yeah. They, um, when we were going through customs on the way. Well, let's rephrase that. In. We can't say they broke it. What we can say is it wasn't broken when, when we, we got left. there. Yep. When we got on the ship, it was broken. Yep. So I'm not going to say they did break it, but it is now broken where it right. wasn't before. That's, I will say that. Yeah. And this time around, I had a lot of issues with trying to get on the cruise ship. I've, I've never yeah, had I don't any. I know what that was about either. Any problems before, you know, all my medication is always you know using freezer packs the ones that usually come from the um the hospital system that sends my medications yeah. they always send them with freezer packs and then i take those freezer packs and if they're decent i, I put them in my freezer i was fixing to say who's subwoofer i can hear the lido deck party oh yeah you hear the music mm -hmm. it's it's real quiet but i can hear it so i um i always keep the decent ones and and put them in the freezer right. so that we can use those for traveling and this time around, they didn't. They didn't want to look at them. They wanted to keep everything with them. They, I mean, they were fighting over, you know, if I can even use freezer packs, you know. And I'm like, yeah, it's not ice. Odd. It's not ice. I mean, I know the issue is, is you can't, you can't bring in ice, but it's not ice. They're just frozen packs. So they had to get like a supervisor to come over and and mark it off, and it was just a bunch of a mess. So. Yeah, a little bit. But overall, we got on board. We hung out for the first day. We didn't do a whole lot. And... We were all tired. None of us slept real well the night before because we had to leave so early. Yeah. And we were still packing all the way up until, what was it? The night before. Two, two three o'clock in the morning. I didn't sleep the whole way down. I took like maybe an hour long cat nap, if that. Well, that's what like, I'm saying. I would doze here and there. And then we made sure we were awake by 5.30 to leave. Yeah. 
and you know we had to call my brother at four so that he could leave and yep, he got so, up at four i mean we we had just barely slept and then it was time and to then go I, I think i slept maybe 30 minutes in my car yeah so we got on we got everything dropped off we did all the stuff that we wanted to do and then we went and um yeah the first two days has just down. been kind of a blur you know we were kind of we weren't really in cruise mode you know it's just been a weird kind of beginning of a trip for us yeah so that's kind of the beginning i guess of the video for for the trip what do you say you see a dolphin no you it's, a, your, your it's a big set of white caps right there it's a whale well that's what i was wondering it's not a whale if i see a whale shoot up we're gonna have some good old video of it because i'm gonna yank that camera up and turn it you'll start flipping out and screaming seas are relatively calm yeah, three to, for the most three to part. five foot swells not too bad a uh, tropical storm hit North Carolina. Wilmington and eastern North Carolina is pretty flooded right now. Yeah, we're still we're still hanging. Um, I think we're going to bounce in between two of them. I think there's yeah. going to be one coming up behind us as we head home. Yeah, I think so too. But it's been relatively good. It was a little rainy and rocky. Uh, six one. to eight foot swells on yeah. the way out on Saturday. So it was pretty, pretty rough heading out. Um, rain for a lot of it. But by beautiful. Sunday morning, it was beautiful. Beautiful in the Bahamas. Yeah, yesterday in Half Moon, it was hot. Yeah, to be very expected. hot. Uh, Half Moon was really nice. It's always nice there, and they've started construction on the new pier. So we're gonna have to plan another trip to come see the new pier once it's completed. Yeah, we um we're we're heading to um, Amber Cove, which is new for us. Yeah. We've never been there, so we're looking forward to you know seeing new things. We, we try every cruise we're on to go to at least one new place, and Amber Cove is it for us. We've been to Half Moon several times, yeah. and we've been to Turks and Caicos once. We were there last year, so we're excited for Amber Cove. And then in January, we have another cruise. Yeah, we do. And that one, we're going out of Florida, and we're actually going towards Mexico. Mexico. So that'll be intriguing. That one will be fun because we're going with a bunch of kids. Yeah, that that's going to be a great trip. We'll just call them my bonus children. Where'd Jessica get a coffee? He went to go get a milkshake and bring me a coffee back. Trying to said. smuggle on some alcohol. I don't know how he is. <laughs> he told me he would, he would bring me a coffee back. I said, okay. And I gave him my room card.